we call grunts and jackals, it's two penny props, and today we are finally showing you the battle rifle I've promised you for months. So I do apologise, I took this long. Times are being very difficult and tough, especially for me. Like my business is being, it kind of, it kind of got really good. You know, it started getting building up, and I didn't have any time for my personal projects. And now that the Corona is out, I've got no jobs and plenty of time for personal projects. So it's not a it is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because I am now on fluoro pay. So I'm only getting 80% off my part-time wages and I'm getting absolutely nothing for all my prop work that's been cancelled. So anyway, let's just get into the fidget, let's not mope around. So this is the BR. I'm going to get some better shots in a second. I'm just picking up and showing you in person. So I'm going to pass this over to Master Chief and he's going to do a nice little showcase. He's a better cameraman than I am and he's going to do some close-ups and then he's going to hand it back to me and I'm going to talk about the prop for a little bit. So, here you go Master Chief. Thanks. Bit of a heavy hand there, but thank you anyway. That's some good shots. Permission to leave the station. For what? The flood is spreading. Chief, Krona, it, it, it's different. Go down. You're losing. Krona is a virus. The flood's been defeated. What? I'm ordering you to self isolate. No, sir. Fine. Just go. I need a weapon. Fine. Take it. So we're back. Chief gave us back the battle rifle after a few days, so I have to make a cut there. So anyway, this is the battle rifle. We're probably wondering for the video why it's got a 60 ammo camera. So reason why it's got a 60 ammo camera is because this is based off the one from Contact Harvest, the uh, XBR 55. It's like it's like the prototype version. So yeah, that's why the ammo camera is displaying 60 because that battle rifle has 60 rounds. What well, is awesome. And I wish I could have power rifle with 60 rounds, how crazy that would be. The scope is from Amazon, and I'll provide a link to where you can get that. And it is compatible with this 3D file I made. So you're probably wondering, yes, it is 3D printed. I 3D modelled it on Fusion 360. And it's my own. I 3D modelled it. It's my design. So it's I'm very proud of this design. It's very classic looking, but it's got a bit of few modern features in it, what I am very proud of. But yeah... <laughs> <laughs> and another feature is a working sling. Bear with me, I'm not very used to doing it. But we have a working sling. So I'm pretty proud of that feature. So, it's a little close up from the barrel end. It feels good. It just it just feels how it should be. So usually I um, have the trigger removable, so you can actually put the trigger in. For like photo shoots I put in and stuff and then during the day while I'm walking around convention I don't have it in. Same with the magazine, it does come out but on this version it don't because it's for a convention. But the file does have it removable and some of my future props I will show will have removable magazines because they're going to be props just for the workshop and for home. So yeah, you might have noticed that the grip is textured, the handle is textured and the stock is textured. That's a little trick I learned and it works beautiful for props. I'm going to show you how to do it in a future video. But anyway, I hope you like this video. I'm still getting into the swing of things, so bear with me. I'm not like 
a big YouTuber. And I don't have all the equipment, but I'm trying my very best. So thank you to my patrons, Peter and Grant's Armory. Thank you for all the support you give me. And I hope the rest of you can subscribe to my channel, like, and leave me a comment on what you want to see next. So this is Two Penny Props. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.